I'm back with an answer to another frequently asked question. Why does the guy need a parachute? Why not just land a wingsuit? Okay, there's been a couple of exceptional cases in recent history. In 2012, Gary Connery landed a wingsuit on a huge runway of cardboard boxes. Google it, it's a very cool watch. And there's a couple of people who have unintentionally flown a wingsuit into trees and miraculously survived, but badly injured. But these are exceptions. The question is, can I, as in just me without a big special projects team, land a wingsuit, as in just a wingsuit, and not be killed or injured? Let's take a look at the difference between a wingsuit and some other unpowered flying machines that can land, like a hang glider or a sailplane. The wingsuit has a much smaller wingspan in comparison. We're limited by the fact that a person needs to be able to wear it. With this small wingspan, the wingsuit really isn't a very efficient flying machine. So here's me in a typical wingsuit flight. I'm flying along at three to one glide. So my forward speed is around 150 kilometers an hour. My vertical speed is about 50 kilometers an hour. I need to keep up the forward speed to keep these small wings flying. If I flare to slow down, here's what happens. I flare, I can get my forward speed down to about 70 kilometers an hour, and for a second, my vertical speed right down to zero. Then I reach a stall point. My forward speed is too slow to generate lift, and I start to pick up vertical speed again. I start falling. At no point during this flare is my speed anywhere near slow enough for a landing. So for now, I'm sorry. The answer is no. With the current technology, I cannot land a wingsuit.